My name is Charles Yeshohe. My sign name is like that. I'm deaf. I'm 33 years old. My name is Anne Wamboy. My sign name is like that I'm 21 years old we are four in our family I'm on I'm the only one who is deaf in our family Wamboy hata mimi nikimza tulikuwa tunagoja aoge tunakuwa tukisema wale wa wale wa Awa se wana niambia nini? Nirole miroli tu. Sisi tunagoja tu. Aoge. Kampereka shule. Toto hakuoge. Mimi nilipeleka tu shule ya kaya kama ya kawaida. Nikaitwa. Mwalimu kaniambia huyu mtoto. Aoge. Haski. Mimi sikusikia vile hivyo aliniambia nikamchukua nikampeleka hospitali kaenda kwa daktari kanimwangalia tu masikio kaniambia hata kuna watoto wengine wanasaria kwa hivyo sasa siku hiyo daktari aliniambia hivyo hivyo sasa nilishtuka kaulisa kwani wanasaliwa wakiwa hawaski akaniambia eh lakini kuna shule yao kamuuliza inakuanga wapi akanieleza pale nitampeleka kwa shule nilimpeleka akiwa mtoto bibi class sasa mpaka akamaliza form 4 huyo mtoto wangu mzaa akiwa hivyo lakini nikasema nitajitahidi nimsomeshe kama watoto wengine nikamchukua kama watoto wale wengine sionagi ure hiyo ure mafu i had a challenge because they would feel that I don't deserve to go somewhere. I really felt bad because uh, they could not understand me. But my mother was trying her best. But the other siblings, the way they behaved, they were discriminating me. But as we went on, through counseling after talking to them they were able to change and accept accept me as their own and also uh, sometimes we work together as a family we interact together as a family which is very encouraging and very nice and also for my parents my father and my dad they have accepted me as their own they show me love we are one family we are three in our family the only son and two sisters my mother is partially deaf i'm the firstborn in the family and we are two my the other sister is also deaf but the third one is not deaf the main the main 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 charge is communication why i use sign language my mom doesn't understand so she keeps on talking to me but i cannot be able to hear so normally we try and improvise eh, the local local ones for us to be able to communicate but when i went to school i learned sign language and when the parents they used to come the principal will take some time and do counseling advise the the parents the importance of sign language and also when we close school 
by then my mom was in a position now to understand me and she could try yeah you see now um we are two in our family and now my mom could learn our language and also the last born yeah understands sign language because he found we are talking in sign language so they were able to learn sign language and also neighbors they would come find it like a barrier to communicate with us but my mom was there now to assist to interpret i live your destiny mtoto akizaliwa huwa akisikia sauti mahali pale kufurani pengine unaona ana pay attention na kitu akisikia jambo lolote ama sauti yoyote yeye hako na ile dalili yoyote ya kuonyesha kwamba anasikia yale ambayo yanaendelea ndipo hapo akapelekwa hospitali tofauti tofauti na ikagundulia ya kwamba hasikii hata kidogo hadi hapo sasa akapelekwa tuka alipokuwa kufikia kiwango ya kwenda shule ndio akapelekwa shule sasa ya wale watoto ambao hawasikii Charles has been our member in the church uh, and comes from Moya PCA church so soon we'll be joining our church to come and join the husband to be after marriage the church has committed itself to do the whole reception them we also have a committee that is planning their wedding and the family also is participating one of the most surprising thing is when our uh, our deaf church organize themselves and raise some money uh, about 5000 to support them very exciting to see how the community is willing to support this couple okay we kept on meeting with Charles until it reached a time we had to let our parents know our plans and then i went home and i informed informed my parents that i'm expecting a visitor my parents were they were shocked so they thought it's not somebody who is deaf then i told them is a deaf man now they were they had all these questions if somebody comes and knocks and both of you you are deaf how will you be able to hear then how will you live together actually my parents they, they were like we are not for this idea but i told my parents kindly you can call uh, the parents of charles because i see that they are not, my parents they are not for the idea because they they wanted the best of me but this day came when the parents they had to come and meet and actually they thought it's not true so they came and we had time together we read them our plans know our plans and then the parents they were like okay the parents thought it's just like uh, the 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 cultural marriage the one we do we come negotiate and that's it so when i told them it's a church wedding it was a shock they were so shocked we are planning for the wedding we've never had deaf wedding yeah in fact from my area that is from where so the parents they were shocked i they were wondering how but we kept on meeting letting know our plans planning for the wedding together involving the parents and we had their blessings at long last hapo tuko sasa tulikuwa tunakatulika chini na baba yake tukajiuliza kwani wewe mtoto hivyo tu pia alikuwa anafikiria na tulikuwa tunamwekea kasi aya akiendelea na kufanya ya sarumu mimi tu nasikiaga tu hivyo siku akipendelea hivyo lakini vile yeye tulikuwa tunakaa na yeye yeye akanionyesha hata yeye anapendelea hivyo na kama anapendelea si hata mimi sinijikase tu kupenda tukiwa na baba yake sasa sisi tukafumilia tu tunangojea hiyo siku ilipata na furaha sana ijapokuwa pengine nilikuwa shida ile ilikuwa ni kufikiria vile kama itawezekana ni kwa sababu ya kufikiria mambo ya harusi vile inavyokuwa na gharama kubwa na kufikiria mambo yale yanahitajika kupitiwa ndio mtu aweze kupata uh, kuwa na bibi 
na nilikuwa na shida sana nikiwaza nikijiuliza kama haya mambo kweli yatafaulu japo kuwa nilikuwa na furaha sana kusikia kwamba yeye atakuwa na familia na nyumba yake from the time i was young i never thought myself i can do wedding but when this day came to a reality i was shocked but actually my parents they could not believe is it possible you are getting married and okay god answers prayers and they were there i got their blessings hiyo my sinajua kila mtu ako na nini na peto yake kwa maana uaboi wa msichana wangu hata samani hata akiwa mtoto ya alikuwa tu anatamani akani akasema gaibi ule atamtoa hapo lazima amfanye harusi na yeye sisi tunasikiaga tu kama ni kuongea tu anaongea tu <laughs> lakini <laughs> najua sasa upendo wa mtu ndio mungu anachukuanga hmm? iko nikushukuru na maombi tu ndio waendelee mzuri na maisha yao the gown had everything somebody was touched and she blessed me with the gown so when i i i thought it would not fit me i was wondering how is this gown but when i wore it and i looked myself it was smart i was very happy it was pure white and i was happy wonder When I saw her walking in, I was happy, full of smile. She was she was escorted by her parents. When she came near, I I wanted to see the face, but it was not clear because of the gown. So, and when she came closer, I felt good and felt love to my fiance when i saw the day is here i was focused and when i saw charles my husband yeah because that's what's my interest yeah is he there and when i saw him i i felt joy in my heart My parents they handed me over to Charles my husband I was so emotional I I really felt great and also thank the parents because before there was a challenge because they had not yet accepted and also I had not paid for the bride price there are many challenges but finally the parents gave her to me i just thank god and it was a good feeling to have an as my as my wife i charles accept you and to be my wife i promise to be faithful to love you during the vows it is not simple because it is what i feel maybe yeah like i want you to be my wife when i am saying that it's the same way it's not normal like the same way we we tell stories to each other but it is it is what i i feel 
and the trust I have for her. Okay, uh, when now it came to the vows, it means I'm fully committed. It's like a full-time commitment. Not another one. I'll be focusing on him alone. When I plan, yeah, it's like a promise. Yeah, it's a promise to my husband. God saw the man was really suffering, so God gave the man a helper. And also us, it's like an example. Regardless of the challenges, we are supposed to be together. Because we are one, we are married. God made child and man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God made a man. There were several groups, singing deaf groups. There were Karyubangi South, Nyeri group. We also had pick up deaf group. It was, I was overwhelmed. They sang sweet songs. Because it was, it was clear to me because they were singing through signs. I really felt happy for all of them. Remember one song? It was singing about Adam and Eve. So they were singing, telling us, me, Anne, and Charles, we are one. That song, it really touched my heart and made the day very joy, to have joy in my heart. them they were deaf and also from the side of men that they, uh, they were also deaf and also uh, my sister the only person who was not deaf it's my sister I choose I choose them to be deaf because it was easier for me to communicate with them through what we are going to do during the wedding day maybe the way we do it as deaf it was easier for me to communicate with them. My name is Grace. This is my mommy and daddy. Wish us the best cup for them to continue to live in peace. Because the marriage life, it's quite, it's, quite different, it's quite different, but I wish them well.
like I remember that moment in church because that's where our reception was. And there were women who were dancing. Yeah, different songs. We were there dancing, even with actually I that day I really danced. Okay, when we arrived, everybody was happy, everybody was singing. Yeah, even if I'm deaf, I can remember an interpreter saying they were singing in Kikuyu. So I also followed in dancing. It was an enjoyable day. And then later, there was this group from our village. They were enjoying dancing round, going round and round and round. And then later, after dancing, we sat where we got some food. And we really enjoyed the songs and the dancing. Uh, from my side, my grandma was, was there. She really blessed God and blessed us. They were happy for me. They told me to take good care of Charles. Because God planned and he gave you Charles as your husband. And you have done wedding before us and we have seen, we have witnessed. God bless you all during your marriage. The one I can't forget is from my aunt. She, she, she has been caring for me from the time I was small. She was, she felt, she felt now that Charles have gotten married, that I'll leave them and just concentrate to my wife. But they had no problem with that. They only gave us blessing and from there we live just normally. We got some money. Mm, it was approximately 100,000. And I felt good. Yeah. The support from people, it was, it was great. And I really thank God for that. I'm planning to, to start a business. Because like now, I have a wife, so I have to find something to do so that I can take care of my wife and it will help us maybe get food, live comfortable, get health care and also traveling to different places. I would love to go to Mombasa. I'm planning, I'm planning on that. In, in Machakos, as I was doing Bible school, I had to go as an evangelist and teach the, the Word of God. That's where I met Anne, in a school of the deaf. And actually, I saw he's so flexible. I saw when he was talking, the points that he's raising, wonderful. I felt we could be good friends and I believed 
not to have another one. Why not give him a chance? Because I promised. Why? Because I could see he has a vision. I could see he's a good man. In my wedding day, some, some people from the villages, from towns, all of them were, at first they were, they were surprised to hear that there's a deaf wedding. Because we were always thinking that it is impossible for a deaf couple to get married. So they were very excited to come and see how, and to see how it is done. That's why they came and some were shocked and all they saw that it's true that deaf people can really get married because they didn't think it's impossible. But now I want to prove to them that indeed it is possible. Mm -hmm. and as I was seeing some people, people from different places, villages, towns, and the ones who are, who are giving us gifts, they were all blessing us, and I think that was special for us. Kamwanzo Ajabu sana sana. Ime nifraicha sana. Ime pedeswa sana na upendo wa watu mingi. Vile wa mejitolea kwa hali na mali. Kila mtu wa mejitolea vile na mingi. Na zima siku ya na mkawa. Na watakia kila la heli. Wawe na familia ya kujema. Wa ya kulea. Na mugu wa wape yale yote ambao wanaweza kulitaji katika maisha yale ya kila siku. Haa. Mtu inu hako. 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 Watoto watatu na amesema ameokoka na amesema Mungu akabariki hiyo familia amefurahia harusi amefurahia siku ya leo na amesema watoto wake ni watatu na amewalea vizuri na anashukuru Mungu kwa sababu amewezesha mtoto wake wa kwanza kufika siku ya leo na hata kupata mke Julia Washira Sign language interpreter here in PCA Nyamachaki, and I'm very delighted for today. It's been a special day, more so for us, in the deaf ministry, we the interpreters in Nyeri, and for the deaf members in our church. Uh, it's been a day we've been wanting to have for quite a long time. The deaf church has been there for like about, it's celebrating the 17th year this month in October. And for all those years, the 16 years that we've been together with them, they've never had our deaf wedding. This was the first deaf wedding. So it's a very special day for us all, for them too, mainly because I'm sure they are very excited as a group. And we thank God mainly for the support that the church has granted unto us as a group. We went to Nanyuki. I had planned we go to Mombasa, but because of time, we went to Nanyuki. I was given a chance. I would wish to stay there forever because you swim, you eat. You just feel like staying. It's just like home. But the only thing is we were working on budget, so we went back home after several days. I need to allocate time for my work. I need time for my children. That's why I would go for two or three. I pray to get two. But if I'm, I'm, I have a comfortable life, I can get three. Yes. Anne and Charles' wedding is a dream come true. We indeed have been praying about it and planning a small committee and um, it was beyond expectation. We had planned to host about 300 people. We had more than 450 people. Indeed, one of the most interesting is that food, uh, everyone did not get food because there are people who came that were not expected, meaning the whole country was waiting for this wedding. It's a great joy to see Anne and Charles married today. Concerning this wedding and how successful it was, 
it's my humble appeal to all people who are hearing, hearing impaired, not to shy away from doing a church wedding. Because we realize that it's possible to do it. We struggled to uh, organize it, but later resources were enough. At the beginning, we thought like we will not get money and everything, but people gave everything that they required, even had some savings after the wedding was done. So those who are hearing impaired, don't fear. Please come, talk to pastors who are with you. They can support you. Before I came to Nyamashaki, I was serving in PCA Yata, Nendeni area. It's in Ukambani, where majority of people are low-income earners. It is a requirement of our church that for you to take the Holy Communion, you must do a church wedding. The majority of my members in Yata had not done that. So what pushed me a lot to plan for them the wedding in 2013 is so that uh, the nine couples would become full members of the church. We, the only challenge was that they had no resources. We had to go out of our way to talk to Samantha Bride to connect us with people. And we were given literally everything, the rings, the gowns, the suits, the cake, the food. We went around talking to people and people supported us. My passion in this is just to let everyone know that it's possible to do a church wedding. It doesn't have to be very expensive. And one of the most interesting ones is a 95-year-old man who did his wedding that day. So that is what gave me a lot of passion, to see them come back to church, and today they are all communicants. When I came to Yamashaki Parish, of course, there's a different environment. Uh, people are not necessarily poor as they were in Yata, but I realized that there's a need for the hear, hearing impaired. When I interacted with Charles, and he in, got interested in doing the wedding, and I realized how it's difficult for him to be able to speak for himself, I stood in the church and asked people to support him. Incidentally, people came up. Again, my desire is to see the deaf also do a church wedding. Because sometimes when we called them to come and meet the elders, a number of them were willing to become full members of a church in PC Yamashaki. However, they were saying they haven't done a church wedding. So we were meant to organize for the dowry for them. However, immediately Charles came up and intimated and, and, uh, 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 with an interest simply to do a wedding. And I felt I would want to marshal people in my church and community to support him. And when they came together with Anne to my office and we selected a date, it was all systems go. And by faith, we talked to our people, for the community, and the people in the church, and they were willing to support them. And having now been done the first uh, hearing impaired couple's wedding, I think the government has to come on board. Number one, to be able to employ interpreters so that any time there is a function the deaf people or the hearing impaired are not left out we have also decided as nyamashaki that we want to be incorporating them in the church rather than having their own deaf church so they can be able to get to know what's going on in the society the community just as the way where i was brought up we thought that these people are not sensitive like they hate us we used to run away from them but having been in college and learned Kenya Sign Language, I learned the deaf culture. Now my life has changed. So I want to ask the community to be closer to the deaf people, sit with them, hear, hear what they are saying, you know, give them a, a, a warm shoulder so that they may feel they are part of the community and the society. Having gone through counseling with them and the way they enjoyed the counseling, my prayer is that they will have a beautiful, beautiful life. I desire to see the baby is coming. And my prayer is that the Lord will bless them. Indeed, I would want them to be visiting me and I visit them so that their life will be better and better every day. And I'm so hopeful that because that day we had over 100 hearing impaired people attend the wedding, that all of them will do church weddings. That's my prayer. Wale ambao wako na watoto wale mahu ya ainda yeyote Unajua iku watu wengine wanajaribu kuficha watoto kama hawa Watoe hawa watoto kwa sababu kuwa na ule mahu Sikuwa hawawezi Wanaeza kuwa na wawe wa msaada tena hata kwa nji Kwa hivyo wawatole, wawalete, wawake umahali wangapo takikana Hili waweze kuwa kama watu
nika kuambia watoto wengine wazazi wale wako na, na watoto wako na disability tofauti ya kwamba disability is not inability na mtoto ukilia laiza kona shida ni vizuri kumpeleka hospitali mapema for early intervention na maybe for referrals to better hospital or better schools so that huyo mtoto anaweza saidika baada ya hapo huyo mtoto anapaa kupewa mapenzi nyumbani kushikwa kama mtoto mwingine kwa sababu ni mtoto wa kawaida despite the, the disability na anaweza kufanya kama kile mtu mwenye ako hana disability anaweza fanya so disability is not inability sasa ya wengine kwa bia tu wapende wa watoto wao kama wakekua kama huyo tunaonyesha tu pedo tu sasa wengine ndio tuna, tunasema tunawashauri wakiwa na watoto kama hao wachukulie kama watoto wale wengine wa kawaida wasije wakaona kama hao sasa sijui wale mafu a ndio hiyo akili ya kuonyesha kwa watoto wao wachukue tu kama binadamu wa kawaida na maisha itaendelea out living uh, encourage the deaf people to do church weddings because if we are on our we were on our own it could not have been easy but for sure it's because of through their their support because we have integrated they were there to assist us and also you can also get married to a hearing impaired and just other person it's possible some deaf people think it is hard but to, to to say to tell the truth the truth it is hard but not that really hard you will you will encounter challenges on the way and also you help one another because many times deaf people think it is very hard to do church wedding but it is very simple you only have to pray and have good hopes also the same way the same way other deaf helped us the same way also will help others and help one another to make their wedding successful also.